Welcome back. Here's a big red flag for families thinking about signing up to a rent-to-buy scheme. Before you put your signature on the dotted line, watch this. Okay. The companies that run these rent-to-buy schemes are absolutely the winners. You ready? It worked out not good at all. It was easier just to buy the product. It's the rent-to-buy rip-off, trapping Aussie families. Is, is there a contract time? Yeah, minimum term is 12 months. Um, with a computer, I think maximum is 48 months. Into signing contracts where they end up paying up to three times as much for everyday items. Rent-to-buy schemes work by um, asking consumers to pay a small deposit, potentially, depending on the item, and just a small weekly or monthly uh, payment um, for often around a 36-month contract. It's not about the money, money, money. Washing machines, fridges, computers, televisions and more. So how long did it take you then to pay off these I, items? I lost track of it after a while. Tonight, the alarming comparisons of rent-to-buy schemes against buying the product outright. You don't have to do anything today, but if you do your pre-approval, then you'll know where you sit. Yeah. You know, it only takes like 10 minutes. We send our producer Claire Gavin into these stores to expose the hidden fees and fine print. If you weren't going to buy it outright, then they'd go to plan B, so you'd end up buying it either way. So if we wanted to do an application, this is the stuff that we would need. Plus, our money commentator's tips. If you don't consider the other alternatives, you might end up paying a lot more. Inside National Appliance Store Radio Rentals, our producer Claire is inquiring about renting a medium-sized new fridge. So, one of those would be $12.71 per week. That's over four years, so the end cost is over $2,600. They don't tell us how much um, the item costs outright. There's a sign-up fee of $25, and if you want to get out of the contract, there is, of course, another fee. Uh, it's ordinarily six months rental. At RT Edwards, the deal is different. Basically, you can rent a product from us, but you can make an offer to buy it at any time. Claire asks about renting a computer. For 12 months, $26.80 per week. The total cost, $1,360 for the year. There's no sign-up fee, but if you want to get out of the contract... Then you're liable for 80% of the remainder of the contract. Okay. To purchase that computer outright, it's nearly $400 cheaper. Rent to Own is a smaller home appliance store and the salespeople are up front to Claire about their process. The way, where our sort of system comes into play is like if you need it today, you can't afford to pay cash. You know, like you can get it today with nothing up front. This time Claire asks about purchasing an HD television. A full HD, non-3D is $13.78 in that same site. That's a weekly payment, so the end price is more than $1,400 over two years. You might end up paying double. Consider the fees, conditions and understand the length of the contract. Money commentator Ali Kassam recommends have a look at other options. Can you save up front and, and delay that purchase? Or if you need it now, consider a personal loan, compare rates online and look at lenders outside of the major banks. It's definitely buy beware. Sometimes it is the only way, but rent-to-buy is very expensive. One of the leading companies, Radio Rentals, says it has a responsible lending policy, which means only those who can afford it are offered contracts. After the